video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety up on their website, including the new battle style set. So definitely check out the website and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. How wonderful is that? Even uh, yeah, for the stuff like uh, Reshazard codes, Mew Mew codes, uh, Luke Metal codes, Eternatus codes, Zacian codes, League Battle decks, you name it. Be sure to check out the website. It's awesome. Also, check out uh, cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell uh, cards to people all across Europe, which is actually very wonderful. And you can uh, yeah, just go on the website by clicking that link, the affiliated link in the description. You're going to be helping me out a ton. Anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm already hyped up. Hopefully, you guys are hyped as well. Peace. <laughs> What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss out. Today on the menu, Sandaconda meme deck, aka budget deck, aka 360 damage for one energy. We have big sand cannon, we discard the top six cards of our deck, if any of them are fighting energy, 60 damage. So uh, that's uh, the main uh, goal and purpose. We have 27 energy, so almost half of our deck has energies. And we are going to be running a green's exploration engine, so with Poke Gear, you can find green. Green can get yourself lovable er air balloon on the early couple of turns, or maybe you start with Gossifler, because Gossifler gets yourself three Pokemon into play, and that's what you want to do. You always want to go second. And that's uh, going to help yourself to get yourself basic Pokemon. Also, you do have Lava Ball, and uh, that's the way the deck functions. Sometimes you go for Rosa, get Ordinary Roth. Sometimes you use uh, Green's Exploration, get yourself Ordinary Roth and uh, a Pokemon. So it's going to be huge to test this out. And uh, this is probably the best budget deck ever. <laughs> You're going to hopefully enjoy this. If you are enjoying the content, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. And uh, I'm very excited to be playing with Sandaconda. This is, has been up on the menu for quite a little bit. We uh, checked out almost every single deck in the Battle Styles format. And uh, right now, Sandaconda has become uh, personally one of my favorite decks ever. And uh, this is an interesting start. We have green, so uh, I'm always glad to see that. Uh, we can just go for Air Balloon, Lava Ball, Gossifler. That's the way I typically go if I start with Gossifler. Uh, actually, when I start with Silly Cobra, there's an ADP. I don't care about ADPs at all. We just slaughter ADPs all day long. So uh, he's going to go for Alter Creation. Will he be able to go with the KO afterwards? We'll see. He's going to just go for Attach, passing it out, then go for Alter Creation. That leaves us with two turns. He attaches, doesn't do anything, then we can go crazy. I'm very excited. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am very excited. Hopefully he doesn't Marnie us uh, the following turn. Maybe he whiffs on uh, attachments at all. We do we did see that he goes for Crobat instead of the Danny Jacks. I think going for the Danny Jacks and going aggressively is the way you should go. And this guy is doing that. Gets rid of oh, two energies and a saucer. Probably has three saucers left unless they are prized. And there's a saucer instantly going on to the Zacian here. And an energy spinner. So uh, it's going to be pretty scary. He could also dunk us, by the way. So, uh, yeah, he cannot dunk us because we have Gossifler. Yeah, yeah, Intrepid Sword all you want. We are hopefully going to be able to slaughter an ADP today with <laughs> Sandaconda. Probably not the best matchup. You probably are better off against, like, VMAX and tag teams that don't take multiple prize cards. But it is what it is. So, Green's Declaration first. You get yourself ta -ta 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 -ta, Air Balloon and a Lovable. That's all you need in the early couple of turns. Ta -ta. Air Balloon, Lovable, and you are off and rolling with Gossifler. And these gonna tin these are uh, definitely going to be tinning out your deck for sure. Unless they are playing Hammers, we should be good to go. Call for Family, there they come. Cha -cha. Probably going to slap down another one of these. He could like, you know, on this type of thing, he can still uh, trap us. But this also ensures we have bigger damage output. Hmm. I don't think he's gonna boss us. He could. Like, clever players do boss these guys up, so we're just gonna go for two. Ta ta! Okay, the deck is still filled and flowing with energies, so uh, next turn we just manually retreat and just try to knock out his ADP before it is able to do funky stuff. So energy switch. This is actually a very bad matchup because they take multiple prize cards, but hopefully I will still be able to showcase the, the pure strategy of this deck. Hopefully. 
Okay, we need to discard uh, 360 Mosho. We need to discard five energies. There's still uh, 25 energies in the deck. Hopefully we'll be able to clean off uh, this ADP before it is able to use Ultimate Ray. Okay, let's go for it. Green's Exploration, getting ourselves Evolution and Sense. These are actually gonna t uh, tin out the cards from the deck. Seems like a great idea to me. Ta-da! That's gonna be two Santa Condos. My Santa Conda dope. Here we go. Santa Conda filling the deck, cleaning the deck. How many energies in here, by the way? 19. Ooh, a little bit scary, that's for sure. Little bit scary. But at least we're gonna try and do something, right? We can still hope. We can still hope. 19 energies. We need five. Santa Conda, activate. Pa! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh yeah, so uh, who's doubting Santa Conda now? Hey, he could still go for Mawal by the way. I don't know how much damage Mawal do. 30, 30, 30, 30. That's 100. 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, he can still go for Mawal. Pretty scary. Quick ball. Yeah, the Mawal does kind of hurt us, but I actually had to go for Gossip Lord here. The Dunny GX. <laughs> so his uh, ADP went down. Even if we don't win the match, you'll already see the potential this has, right? Hopefully you'll see that. There might be two Metal Saucers priced. Mawal could also be priced, so... Attachment to Dization. I think I'm just gonna go for a straight up Brock's Grid, getting all the energies back and just sliding for huge damage. He's switching around, saucering around. And the Marnie, okay. This Marnie could be huge if we don't draw into an energy, which I highly doubt. We already wasted three greens, by the way, so Rosa is gonna have to be the way we go about it. Air Balloon. Aegislash. Big Charm. On the Aegislash, he's gonna sacrifice. No, that's it, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and this situation is just better off going for a Lava Ball, getting the Gossifler, going for an attach on the Sandaconda, and going for Energy Recycler to put all the energies back in deck. So we are actually having a bigger damage output here. Big sand conda. Poof. Okay. This seems good. I think uh, I'm in dire need of a Brock's Grit. A Brock's Grit would be nice right now. Lots of energies though. So if he barnes this, that would be good. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's still a lot of energies in the deck. We do need a couple of them. Goose Hala. He still needs to KO two Pokemon. So we are also good on that department. And we only need to KO one Pokemon. Maybe we should have waited with the uh, energy recycler because we only needed like two energies to knock out that uh, Crobat anyhow. Yeah, let's just go for the free retreat, silly Cobra. See how it goes. <laughs> energy recycler again, well. Yeah, this deck is, <laughs> he's gonna say like this deck is ridiculous, but it is ridiculous. Just in case attaching here, so we are able to uh, Attack again if need be. Let's go. Big Sand Conda. Activate. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here with your OP ADP deck. We're playing a budget deck and you don't have a slight of a chance. Not having a slight of a chance. If you are not convinced, if you're excited, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button with a Big Sand Cannon. Well, <laughs> I'm so overfloating with, uh, yeah, with excitement right now. Look, we're making a budget deck and we're making it work. How cool is that? So uh, let's see who our next opponent is. Hopefully this time around no ADP because ADP puts herself a little bit on the clock. But on the other hand, they're not playing a high amount of Marnie. So uh, if they Marnie you, it's going to be very scary because you do play a huge amount of energy. So you won the coin flip. Every time you win the coin flip, you want to go second. Hello. Hi. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. We start off with Goth Gosford and Greens and all this. Couldn't ask for a better hand. I couldn't. He could actually, like, Marnius. It's Eternus. As a little surprise, we hit for weakness if he doesn't find his weak guard energies. Okay, Eternus, another top tier deck. Are we afraid of top tier decks? Not in the slightest. We wreck top tier decks. He gets rid of a research. Well, this guy has some uh, cool things going around. Hopefully he doesn't Marnie the next turn. At least we're going to be able to set ourselves with a huge amount of Gossifler. At least. Also, Kalexwa, we don't care. We're not playing stadium cards. 
He's probably digging for his uh, energy. Okay. Scratch that. He has his energy. This Eternus is going to be attacking next turn. And we probably always start with uh, Gossifler. So it's a nice thing for sure. It's definitely a nice thing. This guy drawing some cards. He has a Crobat. He has an Eternus. They're both weak to fighting. Okay. Silly Cobra. Attachment here. Do we use the green already? Probably, so we can thin out some cards in the deck. What do we need? Lovable, lovable. We already have a green, so uh, we already have Evolution Incense as well. So uh, lovable, lovable is the way to go. <laughs> Only one Silly Cobra. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Scratch that. He might go after our one of our Silly Cobras. So we could shuffle them back in. We do have a green though, so... Oh, scary stuff. Double lovable. I'm gonna leave one lovable in there just in case. Just gonna... We do hit for weakness, so it is not the biggest concern in the world. Ah, having some of them prized is not too good. We could slap them down so we don't draw into them again. We don't want to draw into them again if he like goes for other plays. Call for family. Yeah, let's just go for this. I know it seems weird, but we're thinning out the deck and this guy doesn't take multiple prize cards. Right? And if this guy goes down, we have Ordinary Rot instantly. He has the Wee Guard energy, so it's gonna be huge. We need to actually hit for the 360 freaking damage. Okay, now I under underestimated Eternatus. But we actually uh, are able to find ourselves some good stuff. We have green unless he like goes for Marnie. Let's just hope we get six energies. If not, we tr we two shot him, right? Hammer. Hammer fails. Okay, he does go for Marnie. That's super scary. But he doesn't go for boss, so that's also good. That's also pretty damn good. Okay, lots of there's only two cards in our discard. <laughs> that's what I say. That's what I say. That's why it's scary to have ourselves so many energies in the deck. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Like against ADP, it was nice. We did have a lot of green. The only thing we can hope for is like we top deck Rosa or we top deck Green. Either one is fine. If we get the Green, we also get the Air Balloon, so uh, we just need the Green, right? If we top deck Santa Con, it's also not too bad, but actually probably gonna be promoting Gossifler and hope we get ourselves uh, Rosa or Green. Because Rosa can get yourself a uh, Sandaconda as well as Air Balloon. So I do like the one-off Air Balloon in here. Okay, we get slapped around. Sometimes that happens. I cannot promise you guys we're going to be winning because he marnied us into nothing. He marnied us into nothingness. I'm actually going to be attaching over here so uh, we can retreat next turn. Because this guy is not going to be doing anything. Could have gone for like another Call of Family but we don't have any other Cobras. In the deck there's two of them prized so we are in an awkward position at least we're gonna be able to retreat if he goes he could still go for hammers by the way maybe he goes for boss how many boss in this card zero hoopa can also attack yeah hoopa can also attack escape rope yeah take this guy please yeah he's gonna be attacking with hoopa okay now it's gonna be difficult because this guy only gives up one prize card only we will be able to find like a green. Okay, he does boss. Go for the Cobra. Sometimes you have games like these, man, where uh, you have a very uh, amount, high amount of research, actually a high amount of like uh, supporters in hand, but then they marn you and you get hands like these. So you just have to be lucky with your first couple of turns. That's what I'm saying here. At least we're not playing two prizes, so we can still play the long game for all we care. Okay, we do have another level ball, which is irrelevant. And I think uh, if he gets our last Silly Cobra. Yeah, with only one Silly Cobra left, I think it's just gonna be uh, well played. And we're gonna be playing another game because I actually realized if our little Cobra goes down, we're not gonna be able to prize raise. And this guy's probably playing four copies of Boss's Orders. So we're gonna be playing another game and see how it goes. Also, if we would have attacked with that other Santa Conda, we've only gotten one prize and uh, we only have one Silly Cobra to work with. You need like at least three to just get a game going because that's your main attacker. You cannot attack with Gossipler. And uh, Ricky WTF is our opponent. 
And we can go first. So we haven't seen that side of the matchup yet. If we go first, you just uh, attach pass. At least you can uh, destroy the following turn. So we can go for a green, lovable, lovable. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. Unless he is having a welder that can knock us out instantly, we should be okay. We don't have lovable in the opening hand, so we potentially could get donk here. But I'm very glad I was able to uh, one shot like ADPs. That was like my biggest thing ever. Okay, he's going for Eternatus. I don't care about this matchup at all. I don't care about it because this guy is going down unless he has the weak guard energy of the turn. So we are good. Also, unless he has Hoopa, he attaches to Eternus. So that's about it. Evolve to send a combat and rack the hell out of this guy. So we have revenge on Eternus. That's what we want. That's what we want. Zigzag pings. Yeah. Zigzag pings is not going to be doing too much. Crowbat for two. Don't Marnius. Please. Crushing hammer. Okay. Oh, he has a Crowbat coin. I didn't even notice. Okay, he Marnies us. We didn't play any cards down, so... Need to find a green so we can knock this guy out. Green, Poke Gear, any of those will work. Poke Gear, whew. Yeah, you can go for Power Accelerator. But we need a green so we can find Evolution Incense. And... I wonder if we should go for... If we knock this guy out, he's probably not going to be attacking unless he has Spirit Tomb. Spiritoon is not going to be able to knock out our Sandakana, by the way. It all comes down to the power of this Poke Gear. So we are very fragile for Marnies. I hope you realize that, but against decks that do not run Marnie, we're going to have an awesome time. Poke Gear gets us nothing. And uh, the only thing we can hope for is just that, that this Sand Attack can be prevailing ourselves. <laughs> oh boy, the other side. The other side of the metal. Uh, yeah. I think if he evolved, that attack effect goes away, right? If during an if the Pokemon tries to attack, I think if he evolves, we just get knocked out, right? Yeah, I think so. I think this silly Cobra gets slapped into oblivion. Our our opening hand was way better, though. If we would have started off with, like, a Gossifler, it would have been way better. Let's just pray he whiffs on energy or something. So you have the ultimate power of uh, the Sanakana destroying ADP sensations and then you have the other side of the metal where you actually are not having the Gossifler opening and you just get donked. Crobat, he's probably having like Marnie or Research anyhow, so uh, yay, we're gonna get donked here. That's also nice. <laughs> nice to showcase that sometimes it doesn't go your way. Yeah, the attack effect still gets re reset if they evolve, so uh, we just get donked. Let's just play another game because I am still not satisfied with our meme deck. Uh, I think it still needs some practice. Practice makes perfect and I think Marnie is our worst enemy. Other than that, our Poke Gear whiff. So what can you do about that? If we get the Poke Gear, that Eternus would have been knocked out a long time ago. Let's see what our next opponent is. Also, we don't, we are not able to play down Mew. If you want to protect yourself against Dag Ball GX or other things, just because Mew has an ability and that means you cannot play green. Ooh, luckily we didn't have like a silly cobra here because that uh, would have been silly. <laughs> no pun intended. Or did we? Okay, opponent is gonna go first, so uh, we'll see what that brings. <laughs> we do have a poke here, so green, where are you? Instant concede. Weren't wasn't happy with uh, seeing the fighting energies from that mulligan, and they're saying like, nope, I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> How do I even compete with uh, people that are conceding like before we know what they're playing? How does this work? Hopefully you, can guy you guys see the excitement that we're having here. We're gonna try to make this budget deck work. Another Crobat V coin, V max, Crobat into oblivion 13. And we start off with an another scary Poke gear. These Poke gears sometimes get yourself green, sometimes they don't. So it's uh, either all or nothing. Corby Knight. Corby Knight, max damage output, one hit KOs us, but we do one shot, they do have Cheryl, so, uh, okay, they don't have Bronze on, so we don't have to worry about it too much, Poke Gear, and now we do find the green, so, it's a little bit 50-50, uh, I would say, so, uh, let's get ourselves Air Balloon and Lovable, like we always do, and get ourselves Gossifler in the house, alright, 
air balloon that at least gets us uh, a little bit of time on our hands and also tins out the deck a little bit could have gone for another green by the way but i didn't know if he has saucers uh, we still have time on our hands by the way so don't worry about it don't worry about it at all the best bet is just tinning out the deck so your uh, deck is more consistent so level getting all these cobras out we do have two greens and a lot of santa condos here they come we can still keep doing it with Call for Family until we are ready. We also have uh, Ordinary Rot, and they still need to knock out six Pokemon in order to just get the upper hand. So maybe they Marnie us. Yeah, maybe they Marnie us into a green, into like, this is gonna be huge. Pokegear on green. Green! <laughs> Marty, no! Uh, I'm having fun, but uh, this is an awkward hand to deal with. With four energies, the Danny Jax as well. He's gonna go on the offensive real quick. We didn't have green, so I'm probably not gonna go for Call for Family, just because the bottom cards of our deck also don't contain anything. Oh, green! All right, all right, all right, all right. Evolution and Sense on green seems like a nice idea to me, or do, or just double Evolution and Sense. I think this is better this is probably better so let's go for green yeah so we can actually have two evolution ensigns the following turn or something hours or energy recycler depends on how terribly this first big sand cannon goes yeah also now that i think about it why are we not able to retreat uh, oh yeah thanks to the clutch okay makes sense doesn't matter. Yeah, you can take yourself another Gossifer from the deck. He could boss, but we have green. So that's okay. It's totally okay. We have Ordinary Raw. So right now there's two tree, two tree prizers. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't see Luke Metal anywhere. So we just need to discard six. He can also knock us out with Bronzong, which could be totally funny, but then he's not able to Cheryl, so I don't think he's gonna do that. He could potentially do that and then lose all, all of his energies in play. Still has Metal Saucer, by the way. I wonder if he's gonna do that, or he's just gonna think like, this guy's never gonna be taking the one-hit KO. Another Marnie. Well, I'm glad I already evolved that Sandakana there. Let's see, what do we get? I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I don't mind this um, way of going. Cool. Quick ball. The Mew goes away. Will we be able to discard six energies? That's gonna be the hardest part. I don't know if he's gonna have Cheryl or not. Just gonna go. have to go all in. We do have two energy recyclers. He's just gonna knock out this Gossifler, which we don't care about. And he still needs to take six prize cards in total. And if we have some luck, sometimes this game guy can get one shot at. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we have the free retreat with the silly, silly Cobra evolution ends, and so here they come. Here they freaking come. Lovable as well. Get another one of these out. Sandaconda, they're all here. Sandaconda, they're all here, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the snake. Big Sand Cannon, activate! <laughs> and that's a whole heap of damage, not the one-hit KO we desired, but it's okay. <clears throat> he barely hang in there. Probably has Cheryl by his side. Gonna go for another Pokemon. Maybe we can one-hit KO that one. We don't have... Uh, we do... Have, yeah, we cannot one-hit KO him. Unfortunately, there's six energies gone. That's a whole heap of stuff. That has gone down the discard pile. Maybe he has Cheryl and he hopes we don't get the one-hand KO right now. Probably a difficult match. Okay, Marnie. Hopefully we can find ourselves green so we can get energy recycler. So we can try to get the one-hand KO. Come on. The Rosa. Also taking that. Nice. Lots of energies in here. I think that's seven energies in total. Okay, let's rock and roll with Silly Cobra. Green Arosa. Arosa gets a Pokemon green. I'm actually gonna go for green here. Energy Recycler and Ordinary Rot. 
is a nice idea to shuffle the most of them, most of the things back. So energy recycler, that's five energies back. Five energies back. I'm probably gonna wait with the ordinary rod, although that actually increases our chance even further. Do both. Ascend the condo line and two energies. So actually there's a lot of energy still left in deck right now. Come on, commence. Big sand cannon, activate. Ah, oh, too many trainer cards here. Let's hope he whiffs on Cheryl. Doesn't have room for like a Delaney Jack. So if he doesn't have Cheryl right now, it's good. Saucer. Yeah, they both are equally damaged. So uh, yeah, for now we do have two Santa Condos still left. He's gonna be attacking with this guy, Bra Metal Transfer. Probably sacrificing one of these. Probably. We did shuffle in. We didn't discard any of our Santa Condos just yet, which is nice. There's a Quick Ball. Another Bronze Ore, which is not going to be doing us yeah, too much damage. There's a Research, so no Cheryl action today. Okay. Cool. Bronze Zong. Doesn't know what we still have. Saucer. Hopefully he doesn't attack with Bronze Zong, by the way. Like, try to two shot with Bronze Zong and just... Yeah, no, just G-Max Hurricane. Knocking out the Sandaconda, and we don't care about that at all. All right, <laughs> we are still in this game. We are still in this game. So Rosa, this one, this one. Yeah, there's only like energies in here. So I'm actually gonna leave all the energies in the deck so our chances of getting some stuff is higher. <laughs> like 15 energies in there, that's crazy. I think from the prize cards, we probably will draw into Brock's Grid. Hopefully. Flapping this down. Retreating to the Sand Akanda. Evolution Ensign, so we don't discard this one. And this guy is gonna be seeing the discard. That's for sure. Attaching onto this guy. We can also evolve. Yeah, also evolve because he's probably gonna be Marnius. I really think so. Let's go, big sand cannon. Check, 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 check. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, lots of uh, stuff that we did need in this card as well. So whatever he's throwing in the active position, it probably will go down. There's an energy. Come on, Brock. Sand condo, also not too bad. And green, well, at least we can do something with that. We can still discard the top deck of our deck twice. Ooh, okay, he gets rid of Zation. He's probably gonna go for uh, something like Cheryl if he wants to go for it. I don't see any Cheryls just yet. He's gonna go for Elde Ghost instead. Metal Transfer. Oh, this is a close game, by the way. We still need to take three prize cards, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Putting all the energies onto a Bronzong. Is he gonna be attacking with Bronzong now? Cheryl? Okay. Oof. I'm putting all the energies back <laughs> on this Corby Knight. He also has Eldegos in hand, so we have only a couple of shots uh, to get this right. We need to make sure we discard six energies with the big sand cannon. I don't know how many stuff we have left in the deck, to be honest. Yeah, let's go for this. Evolving. So we have two attackers left, so that's not too bad. Green. Okay, hopefully no Gossifler ruins the day. It's all gonna have to come down if we find Gossifler or not. Come on, big sand cannon! Chaka 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 chaka. <laughs> sand Akanda in the house. Okay, we didn't find our God. Oh, Brox was, Brox, was, Brox was there. Okay, fine. So, we survived that one. Difficult matchup for sure. Yeah, he could have gone like attacking with Bronzongs until we had no choice. Maybe we could have gone for our second attack of Sandaconda, by the way. So, either way, it worked out perfectly. His uh, Cheryl play was one turn late. 
We won against Corviknight, we won against ADP, we bricked a little bit thanks to Maurice, but as you can see, this deck is a whole heap of fun. One more round to just get uh, the full potential of this going. So I do love the one-off air balloon in here. If it's priced, it is what it is, but sometimes you don't start with Gossifler and uh, having that pivot is pretty nice. We lost the coin flip. We're probably going to be up against Eternatus once again. Will we get our revenge? So we actually showcase that we're also winning against that. Probably because we have Evolution and Sense in hand. And uh, I think I will probably slap down another Gossifler as we did in the previous matches. Just to ensure that we don't draw into it again. This guy is probably going to shut down abilities with Coughing. We don't care about that. Don't care about that at all. Hiding Dark Energy. Onto his coughing, so he is planning. Oh, a reset stamp on the first turn. Yo, getting us into a better hand. Thank you. Yeah, there's no way we can attack. We can slap for like 10 damage, like 20 at most, thanks to weakness, but that's about it. Pokemon Commit. Yeah, he's gonna go for Crobat, or he already has Crobat in hand. Maybe he has two Crobats in hand and searches for Eternatus. Nope, that is not the case. He's going to be poisoning us. I think that's 40 damage between turns, right? So our Gossifler will even survive that. Unless he has Galarian Zigzagoon Pinks on top of that. Okay, there is an Eternatus. We don't have to worry about that at all. Let's just go for Cobra. Cobra. A touch of the turn. I don't think we need to go for like green right now. Yeah, I don't think so. If we go for green, we do maximize our chances of one hitting KOing, but he's not, still not going to be able to uh, attack us in the first place. And we do hit for weakness as well. So uh, let's just go. Maybe he thinks we don't have a, a good hand anyhow. Cobras in the house. 24 energies to work with. That means there is only one energy prize. That's scary news for the opponent. Didn't play a supporter, so I don't want him marnieing in us. So uh, that's what we, why we didn't play a supporter this turn. I know we could have cleaned up our hand a little bit. But we do have Poke Gear, we do have green, so I think I would just go for a steady green play, two evolution incense, and go from there. Level Ball gets himself. Oh, he does go for the zigzag things. He's gonna poison us. And even a weak guard energy. So now we definitely need to go on a, a higher tempo right now. We need to go for green, two evolution incense, and go from there. Because we really need to play all of us, all of our cards instantly. And <laughs> he did even play Marnie. Whoa. Yeah, if we would have played green, all of our cards would have gone down the drain anyhow. So it's not too bad, I guess. There's Rosa, there's Evolution Incense. So I don't mind. I don't mind this at all. Yeah, just poison us with your severe poison. That's going to be 40 damage between turns. Thanks to the Zigzagoon, we do get knocked out. Which we don't care because we're going to knock this guy out. And then uh, hopefully... We also have Rosa by our side, by the way. So we attach to the Silly Cobra, evolve to Sandaconda and go for Rosa. Rosa finding herself another Sandaconda. And maybe a, a green or something. Yeah, we get poison. Poison between turns. Knocked out. I don't think we can play Rosa right now. Just because it was thanks to the poison damage, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. That's that's that that's pretty bad. At least we do have a Sandaconda right now. Also, don't want to get Marnied again, so slapping this guy down again. And let's go. Sandaconda! Big sand cannon! Yeah. Ooh, greens and uh, energy recycler. Didn't get the full potential. Only 360. <laughs> I say only 360 damage. Yeah. This is a nice hand. We have Silly Cobra. We can go for Rosa. Energy Recycler, so we probably can ensure the one-hit KO, hopefully. Let's hope that's the case. We can also go for Rosa Green, but this guy's probably gonna be on the Marnie sweep, to be honest. He also has Reset Stamp, so I don't know how to feel about it. Evolution Incense is nice to find, to be honest, so we can establish some more. Pierce. Eternus VMAX is coming. As you can see, this is probably the most fun budget deck we've seen in years. I love it. If you have some uh, luck by your side, the big sand cannon is able to win yourself some matchups. Okay. Eternatus. 
the VMAX with the weak guard. If he didn't have the weak guard, we would have annihilated him instantly. We can also go for two shot, by the way, because his last attachment was on Eternatus, which is pretty damn nice. Two shot is also good. Okay. Dreadant. We just got slapped for 180 freaking damage. Sand attacks are uh, last resort, so for now, I think. Also, this guy might be able to slap some more damage. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for this. Let's go. Okay. Santa Kanda in the house. Then Rosa. Rosa finding herself. Santa Kanda. Actually, I'm gonna go for Evolution and Sense. And then. Nah, nah. We need Energy Recycler to ensure we maybe get the one hit KO here. Although Ordinary Rod can also shuffle a line back. We still have some more as a backup. Gonna leave all the energies in the deck, so maybe that will be enough to get the one hit KO. There's still a lot of trainer cards in here, so I don't know if we should go for that. Huh, interesting stuff. He's probably gonna Marnius, I think. We can try to go for the one hit KO. We still have another Santa Con to follow up with that. And we do draw some prize cards as well. Ordinary Rod or not? We could discard the Ordinary Rod, to be honest. How many energies in there? five let's try it out maybe we have some luck by our side just maybe <laughs> let's try it out put him the ball back could have gone for a green to be sure but he probably would have played something else like a marnie so let's go ta -ta 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 -ta. ah one energy short we were one energy short 300 damage on an eternus it's still pretty good though Still pretty good. This guy's gonna be able to knock him out. We still have a silly cobra. We hadn't we didn't discard ordinary rod, so that's good. And we will draw three prize cards next turn. We're going back and forth. And it's probably not gonna Marnie us this time around because we only have one card in hand. Uh yeah. Five energies in this card pal though, so that gets me a little bit concerned since we don't run boss orders or anything. So uh yeah, with the weak guard energy, this becomes a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Yeah. Eternus has to run uh, Weak Guard Energy because of the high amount of Rapid Strike Urshifu being played right now. So I understand that uh, fact, but he still needs to... Yeah, he's just gonna go for Dread End, and that's about it. Yo, yeah, we're gonna have to go for another Santa Kana. Hopefully we don't discard too many resources. Maybe we get a green, maybe we don't. We don't. Sad. Super sad news. Hopefully we just discard energies here. Uh, there's a green and or Ordinary Rods. Ah, oh, super duper sad. Super duper sad. Rosa. Yeah, now we get some supporters, but I think I think there's one uh, Santa Cana prize, if I'm not mistaken. And that means if we didn't draw it from the prizes here. Oh, he also attached to the Crobat here. I didn't even see that. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we also need to find our Brax Grid ASAP. So we don't draw run out of attackers here. Also, now that I think about it, this gives up two prize cards. If he wants to be attacking with Weezing, he's gonna be stuck in the active. He could reset stamp us to two cards. He attaches to uh, Weezing, so we have two turns left. Okay, cool. Seems pretty nice to us. How many Eternals in there, by the way? Only one. Pokemon communication, he could like poison us. Yeah, this is nice. I was getting afraid a little bit, but it turned out okay. It totally turned out okay. Best budget deck in the world. Okay, two prize cards left. I, the only concern is like this deck is not having a consistent way of gusting. You could run an, uh, one great catcher in here for specific matchups. You could. Or just Pokemon catcher in general. Okay, they go after Gossifler and try to just take a KO there. Very nicely played. We don't care. Okay. So we have the Santa Conda. Let's just try to end this with the green. Green, what is it still in here? Evolution Incense. And there's a Santa Conda in there. So Evolution Incense. And let's just go for Air Balloon. So we just slap these, guard, these cards down. So we just ensure that all the cards remaining are pretty damn good. So this guy cannot get trapped anymore. This guy gets an energy. Evolution Incense for a Santa Conda. And we should be good to go from there on out because all of their them Pokemon are weak. They are totally weak to fighting. So look at that. Da, 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 da. 
poof. Uh, we got rid of uh, Poke Gear and Lovable, so all the rest of the cards remaining are probably energies, and there is Poke Gear as well. So, uh, how many energies remaining? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 10 energies remaining in a 14 card deck. <laughs> Scary, right? One more prize card to take. No Eternatus V Max in sight. Two attackers ready to attack. He could go for Crushing Hammers, but we have plenty of energies where those came from. This guy can also not get trapped thanks to the Air Balloon. So I think it's pretty much game. Boss. He could still take a KO here. I hope we whiff on energies, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. We're just gonna go for Rosa, Poke Gear, tin out the deck. Okay, Crushing Hammers. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. <laughs> He's gonna go and take the Vanuous Fang. That means this is probably game, unless we. This is definitely game because we draw, discard uh, at least two energies this turn. Okay, that's it. We totally did it. You have a good deck. Thank you. So, Evolution and Sense. That's all we're taking. Like, Poke Gear. Yeah, Poke Gear is actually the better card here. Poke Gear. Nothing. Poke gear, the green, okay, and uh, well played. Hard face, Sandakana, do it! That's how you do it. We got three victories with this meme deck. Is it the meme deck? Let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mouse that like button as always, as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. Go check out our sponsors as well. PoTownStore.com, best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. You can get yourself Eternus codes, Zation codes, League Battle Deck codes of Picaram and ADP. You can get yourself Dragapult codes, whatever you need, and a 5% discount with the code ZAPDOSTCG. Also, go check out CardMarket.com, best place to get yourself uh, some physical products. If you're a European player, you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Pokemon. TCG Badness, Santa Conda OP. Peace.